What's up? I am Ryan Lee backstage at Lala, but I'm not by myself. Daniel oh, CB, sure. what is up, man? Hi, how's it going? How man? are you? I'm so good. All right, before so we dandy. get into everything Lala music, can we just yes. talk about the fits that we are uh, on one accord? Insane of us. Insane. We also both have tooth caps, and no, that makes me love you even more, man. No, because like, yeah. I'm That's trying to crazy. get the gap fixed, maybe? No, now, dude, now see, but everyone tells it. you no, right? Yes. Yeah, same. They're okay. like, it's charming, and you're like, ah, is it? <laughs> I actually yours looks hate good, it. bro. Yours no, yours good. is mine's more like noticeable though. Oh, that, is mine pushing in a little? Because usually, it's yeah, like, yours is kind of like okay. Mine is okay. I like yours. Okay, we'll talk about yeah. it after. <laughs> Yo, you're at Lala, first time solo yes, festival. Sir. How are you feeling? Uh, good. It it actually legitimately is the first time I've ever performed at a festival in my life. Wow. Uh, even my band that I was in, we never did a festival. Before, yeah. So, um, I'm not gonna lie, I was shitting bricks before i went up there uh-huh um we didn't like sound check or anything just went in like cold turkey wow but the second i got on that stage yeah i felt like i was at home and the fans really showed up and god it was just a rush like i still am processing we how much fun you, it dude. was we <laughs> oh, rock with you thank here in you, chicago thank you. how what is the difference though like before you were performing with a band yeah it's a group of you guys so if uh, you're nervous <laughs> you know you got you can hold on yeah. to another but now you're by yourself yeah no the responsibility shift is pretty nuts <laughs> You can't like before, you know, you could kind of be like, hey, you want to sing this part of my voice? Exactly. You got to sing the whole set. Yeah. Uh, I also like feel like I really bit more than I could shoot. Well, no, I can get it done. But I I decided to take on playing like all the instruments I play, which is on crazy. stage. Wow. Which like we have like a cello out there, piano, guitar, electric drums. And like I do a thing on the looper and don't get me wrong. It's so fun. Yeah. But I, it's still so new to me. Like I didn't do that in my band. Yeah. So every time I get up there, I'm like, I hope I do this good. But that again. shows yeah. how talented oh, you thank are you. Though, as thank an you. artist. Cause thank not you. a lot of artists can do that. Thank you. Yeah. I've been trying to like get comfortable with winging it more because yeah. I think the best stuff comes out of that. And I will say Lala was a big moment for me of just kind of going up being like, we have to wing it and <laughs> i'm gonna choose to enjoy that yeah and it was very enjoyable i love that so yeah new song out new song yeah the older i get yep yep it's funny the lyrics in that song because i was just having a conversation with somebody yeah like yo you used to go to high school with people and then now you see they've married and it's completely yeah. different but those yeah. are people you grew up with it's crazy it's crazy That's talk to me about the that way one. it goes <laughs> uh yeah i mean i'm 25 now okay. i'm growing up and um, I think when I was working on my album and trying to write songs, uh, I typically veered away from like writing about anything past love. And I think that naturally happens when you come out of a boy band. That's yeah. kind of like an obvious go to yeah. to write about. Nothing yeah. wrong with it. No. Got a lot of songs about love. Um, but I just never even really gave it food for thought of trying to write a song about life. And um, that day I was just in a conversation with, um, you know, the other writers in the room. Uh, it was BJ kiddo and michael pollock mm -hmm. and we were just uh kind of chatting about life and they asked me how my life has been doing mm. and um at the time it actually was going terrible <laughs> had a lot of like crazy uh pretty like i don't know traumatic life experience happened in like two years wow my band broke up my mom got cancer she Sorry beat it that. though so that's good shout out to mom uh, you know parents got divorced i lost my best friend in a car wreck and on his birthday and was there at the scene of the wreck and wow th like a lot of life happened and so you know they kind of came in sorry this is a lot but no but it's um, real you know they came in like how's life and i just went on this rant of all the bad and um i think it was paul like someone was like uh try now to list off just as many good things as the bad things you just listed off you might surprise yourself mm. and within like 10 minutes the list of good things balanced out the list of bad things yeah and i kind of went it's funny, you know, even when things are bad, if you really do just take a second to think about the good happening at the same time, Facts. it's always there. Facts. Um, so this song went from this sad rant to like a really hopeful, eclectic song about just like the way life goes. Mm -hmm. And um, the melody that you hear and the vocal you hear on the song yeah. was the first recording I ever did of it. We wrote it like a poem and I just went into the booth and I've never done it this way. We just, I just like sang it. Wow. we didn't really talk about the melody at all it just came out just came out wow. and and it was like a magical day we we finished but it in like 20 minutes now hearing everything that you were going through yeah and then now seeing you perform oh. on stage at lala Don't i see why cry, you were bro. no but i see why you were saying like yeah it's an emotional you know that's happiness a is yeah. a decision and before things went bad for me i didn't see that or believe that for myself mm. and i remember one day looking up in in my bed at the ceiling 
feeling like life was about to turn me into a vegetable and it could have yeah i could have gone a really dark route and that would have been easier yeah and that day i decided i'm going to fight to make moments good for myself i'm gonna fight to get to that place i want to be in life yeah this was a year ago i was also bankrupt like a lot of stuff was wow. going wrong wow the only thing that got me here well there's a lot of amazing people and blessings that have gotten me here but yeah. i will say if i didn't make that decision that day myself to just get up and try yeah would not be here so hope I'm that's shout helpful out to for you somebody. for making that first step yeah no yeah, for real. thanks let's talk about you going on tour with benson Vaughn. oh I love we love that him guy. here at kiss i love how that was guy. that the best experience of my life yeah hands down i also think i didn't realize how much i missed having like bros on the road with me yeah and he's probably the coolest bro i could ever have as a friend yeah we have so much in common it's I can see insane that. i can see that but this dude is like the purest of heart mm. a dude could literally ever be like and he's just such a cool dude like yeah. he really is like an adrenaline junkie he's insane <laughs> the stuff we were doing before shows like i should have like broken legs right now like insane <laughs> he's a stunt man uh he is the coolest dude i've met and yeah. i'm just like i can't believe i get to call him my friend yeah uh his friendship means so so much to me i could make the rest of this interview about that fool like wow. really like i, I love that no, guy dope. so much all right so you're a solo artist right now yes you did sir the band thing but i gotta ask you are there any artists that you would want to collab with right now oh my gosh right now i've been on a 2000s kick okay so it might not be like a current artist but like coldplay is like the coolest Coldplay, thing ever. okay i can see it um i think they're even just to like write a song with chris martin would yeah. be like so so sick um i think that's it i also just just discovered temper trap okay uh and i think they're sick um yeah nice Probably, yeah like a lot that. of older bands but I, i'm really I'm not mad that right it. now i'm yeah. not mad at the 2000s all right before we get out of here we're gonna play a game this or that this or that this or that let's go call or text uh call facetime yeah. whoa yeah facetime yeah i'm a terrible texter like oh no so if my phone's not buzzing more than once like yeah. a text you just get like a uh, i need like uh, 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 and then i finally oh you know <laughs> no unless you like my mom or dad don't facetime yeah. <laughs> at all <laughs> all right stay in or go out uh this, whew, it's a tough one last year stayed in the whole year okay this year going out's been fun yeah so right now going out going out I love it. Yeah. Man, last few words for Chicago, the yours. Chicago, I freaking love you guys. Uh, this morning, too, I was at the Bean and played for some fans. I expected, like, 20 of y'all to show up. There's a lot more than 20, and it was we, really I fun. We love you here in the city. Yeah, no, yeah. I love y'all so much. You don't know how much you mean to me and what you're doing for me right now. It means the world. Yeah. You guys, I want to live here. I'm so serious. Really? I really like Chi-Town. Chi-Town, summertime Chi, there's nothing it's like so it. It's so sick. There's nothing like it. Yeah. So you can maybe sick. do summer here. And then go somewhere deal. else in the winter. Yeah, that's a good idea. There it is, man. And I love Nando's. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> man, thank you for being here. Love this. Yeah. I'm so excited for you. Thank you, Congrats. man. Thank you. It's Ryan backstage Woo! at Lala's Kiss FM.